Um, I grew up a military brat. My dad was a sea model pilot in the Air Force, so I uh, grew up around Air Force bases and aviation my entire life, and then uh, honestly kind of stumbled with myself into ROTC when I was in college, um, and then found the pilot community and the aviation community challenging, so applied for it, got it, and I've been in for about nine years. No, I'm not like most, uh, what I say, most fighter pilots out there that wanted to be a fighter pilot since they were three years old, but uh, kind of stumbled my way in, but been loving it ever since. I've been to, um, I mean, a handful as a kid. Uh, I remember going to see the Blue Angels when I was in college in Tuscaloosa. And then uh, I've been to air shows here and there when I was at Langley, going out to either catch a jet at Oshkosh or uh, for the Langley Air Show, but not a ton, honestly. I'd have to ask my dad, he probably remembers. Uh, I was probably this, this small and uh, no, not really, but uh, like I said, been around it forever. Oh, the story I can tell, uh, my last name. Easy. People always ask, can you see through the jet? Can you see through your body? You can with the uh, six external cameras that you can see around the uh, outside of the jet. So that's pretty cool. Um, just that technology to have that video and be able to look down and see the ground. Um, that's the coolest part. But honestly, the stealth technology is what we make our like our bread and butter. Um, getting in further uh, undetected and be able to shoot people before they even see us. That's kind of what we're made, for, made to do. What's the power like? Uh, I mean, it's one huge 40,000 pound thrust engine out the back. Uh, what's awesome is that, I mean, we, uh, what they call jump the tubes, the maintainers, uh, put on a little bunny suit, jump inside, and one of our maintainers can actually stand up inside the intake. That's how giant that motor is. Um, so, uh, super powerful, work quickly uh, at a one-to-one -one thrust ratio after takeoff, so um, makes it a little bit easy. Uh, graduated from Alabama about a month later. Uh, I was in active duty and went to Laughlin Air Force Base, started pilot training. About a year later, graduated out of that after flying the T-6 and the T-38, and then went to uh, F-22 training down at Tyndall um, for about eight months, and then went to Langley Air Force Base for three years flying the F-22, and then uh, F-35s transitioned in 2017 uh, to Hill Air Force Base. Favorite airplane? Uh, honestly, this one right now. I mean, it is literally the most advanced, um, I mean, even more advanced than the F-22. We just learned so much through that airplane, uh, and it's all integrated into this one. So uh, it's awesome to be flying, like, literally the newest fighter out there uh, that we have. All the things that you don't see, they go on on the inside of this jet. Uh, the computers, the sensors, they're all internal. Um, and all of that fused onto literally one giant touchscreen display for me makes my life so much easier and makes everybody so, more so much more lethal, even our young guys straight out of pilot training.